Today we're going to be upgrading the Kyosho Blizzard 2.0 onto brushless. Um, I've said uh, before that the stock system is actually really good, it holds up good. There is enough speed and power to get you going and have a lot of fun. But uh, I'm still looking for a bit more torque and also just better reliability in general. Uh, since these three centimeters, uh, although they are running just fine, they seem to have a tendency to overheat a bit more. Uh, so that is why I'm going over to brushless. Uh, I went a bit crazy on the ESE, so these are Castle Sidewinder Micro 2s. These are 18 scale brushless, sensorless only ESCs. Around $55 uh, a pop. And also here I'm trying something out new. Instead of uh, the, your regular inrunners, I'm trying in outrunner. And these are um, 28 millimeter helicopter or um, quadcopter outrunner motors and the main reason for that is that these motors the space here especially for the blade there's not enough space here or it'll run into that pretty readily although there are plenty of mods out there to remove this i just didn't want to bother and also in general um, brushless for brushless motors at least outrunners do a little better uh, for startup and low speed compared to uh, in runners so here is what comes in the motor this is a 28 by 26 millimeter motor with a three millimeter shaft um, and as you can see it comes with some of these um, I think prop mounts and compared to the stock motor as you can see um, these stock motors are only 24 millimeters in diameter and about three, 30 millimeters long this one is a little bit shorter but much wider so I expect this to be a bit more torquier uh, these are 14 pole motors and um, this should bolt on just fine because the bolt pattern is 16 millimeters. Onto the ESC, uh, pretty self-explanatory as well. This is a relatively small and uh, just compact ESC. You get your manual and uh, also some stickers here, which is pretty nice. This ESC has been out for a while and um, some people use it for crawling um, with the Holmes revolver or the Outrunner style motors. It is also not uncommon for these motors to be used in low speed. A lot of the newer um, S624 uh, market are using these smaller quadcopters or airplane motors. So I think this ESC paired with the Sidewinder Micro 2 from Castle uh, will do just fine. Uh, the low speed control, sensors control is basically identical to what they have in the Sidewinder 4. Uh, from my understanding. The reason why I went with uh, these instead of uh, the inrunners or even a 540 upgrade is mainly because the stock transmission really realistically can't really handle much more power than what it has in stock. So the idea behind this is just to, you know, keep it relatively inexpensive, you want to call that, and also just give it a good solid upgrade rather than overpowering the vehicle and causing more drive line breakdowns or unreliabilities down the line. Quick comparison, this is the stock system up top, 370 brush motor, the brushed ESC versus the 2200 kV outrunner motor with the Castle Sidewinder Micro 2. ESC wise, it's a little bit bigger, but I did pretty much the same. Motor again, um, you can see that the new motor is clearly uh, quite a bit shorter, but it is also quite a bit wider. So. I am pretty positive that this motor will give me a good bump in torque uh, and also a bit of speed again uh, since this motor and ESC combo is comfortably going to be able to handle 3S LiPo. Uh, let's go ahead and mount up our motor into the vehicle. Since the old 370 motor runs a 2mm shaft instead of a 3mm shaft, it needed this uh, spacer to fit a 3mm pinion but since the new motor has itself already a three millimeter pinion. We'll just have to, we can just remove that and place the pinion gear straight on. I also think I found the heating problem since uh, my previous video, one of the motors were running hotter than the other noticeably. And I think I found the culprit. I think it's this um, pinion sleeve was pushed all up against that bushing, as you can see here. Uh, and that was causing that extra resistance and uh, dumping that extra heat into the motor. So here's just a quick comparison between the stock motor versus the new brushless Outrunner. Um, from just a pull on the tracks, this already feels like it has a lot more resistance, which would mean, again, that would translate to more torque. So this is how the original ESC is connected to two batteries. This is basically connected in parallel. So I'm gonna just solder this ESC wires of the, this is the Micro 2, straight onto this uh, 
cable and it'll have the same exact effect. So here is the final wiring here. I have all both ESCs are wired up black to black, red to red. And this again just runs off the stock cable. I'll just switch that plug out um, officially to an XT60 again. So yeah, I will have to take out one of the red wire in the middle um, on one of the ESCs so it does not overvolt the VTOL mixer. Pretty simple, uh, we can now connect up the motors as well and boot it up and also probably have to program the direction of the ESCs. So here it is all connected and armed, uh, ESCs into the VTOL mixer, into the receiver. It's a mess for the pile, but it works. Um, these motors are extremely loud, as you know with the castle system, let's give it a pull. It's extremely loud. If you ever ran a revolver motor, that's the sound you get. Got some pretty nice low speed control. The startup is very noisy, but we'll go ahead and program the ESCs and just turn off the brake. So I get instant reverse since there's no braking required with tracked vehicles really. Here I have connected to the castle link, uh, pretty basic. Um, I like to put it to 3.3 volts and then reverse, crawler, reverse. So that basically means instant reverse. And actually, motor direction, we're gonna put it in reverse. And we're just gonna update it. And there we go. And we're gonna move on and program the next ESC. So here is the finished product, and I managed to get everything to fit in the stock receiver electronics box. Uh, and yeah, I think it looks great. Uh, nice and lightweight. And I think these motors are gonna be perfect. They are. A, obviously an upgrade of bump in power and torque but not too powerful or uh, torquey to shred the stock drivetrain but yeah we can unlock the full throttle now and see how it performs on 3s